This movie talks about the ability to shape assemblies using the CAD tools. If we go to the help files, it's described in the help files as the advanced shape editor. This feature is available at the assembly level, the part level, and the operations level. This feature is available only to those using Solid Ultimate and Solid Ultimate for closets. Let's take a look. I'm going to simply zoom in on this cabinet that I have placed on a wall. I'm going to right click and go to Edit Shape. As you can see at the top, you will notice the familiar CAD features that are now available to you not simply for CAD illustration, but to actually shape an assembly. The first feature you will notice is the Select option. When this is highlighted, if you come down and simply select on one of the edges, it will display everything about that edge. In this situation, you see that we are clicked on a left end. You now have the ability to actually change this end type from within the editor. If you'll notice the little pink squares at the end of this line, that tells us that this object has constraints on it. Constraints will be covered in a different movie. The Select All feature is when you click on it, the entire object is selected and tells you the different parameters about it on the left. The next feature is the Measure Tool. Clicking the measure tool simply allows you to measure an object without leaving a permanent dimension line. For example, I have the snap to my cabinet points turned on, so I'm simply going to click in this corner, come down, click in the other corner, and as you can see on the left, it has told me everything about that line, that it's 24 vertically and a distance of 24 at a negative 90 angle. You can also measure outside of a box to any point that you like and get the same results. And to clear it off the screen, all you have to do is a simple screen refresh. And in this situation, I'm simply clicking the W on my keyboard and the line goes away. The delete function is self-explanatory. When you click it, whatever you click on uh, is deleted. If I click on line, I can simply come here and put in a couple of lines anywhere that I want to. I, now I can also come here and using the trim delete I'm going to take off these two lines because I'm actually putting a notch in this cabinet. Anytime that you're using this shape editor to shape your assemblies before you try to save the cabinet come to the top right of the screen and click on the check button. This allows Solid to check to make sure that there are no open areas and that it is a completely closed object and Solid is able to save it. Let's do that now. And if we take this into the editor, you can see that we now have a notched cabinet. Of course, at this point, you will have to section it, make any changes that you need, but this is a great feature for giving the general shape of a cabinet. Let's continue editing. The chained line option simply allows you to click and create different shapes. And you can continue this and then go back and delete uh, any of those that you do not want. The line box option is just that. You are simply creating a box. So if we wanted to notch again, I'm going to trim delete here and here and here and now I'm going to use the trim keep whatever I click on will be kept on this line and anything else will be deleted if I check to make sure it's closed and now I can save it Let's move on to a different object. The bend feature is just an arc. If you click on a line, pull out the arc as far as you want it to go, save it, 
and you will have a radius cabinet. Let's click on join a fillet. When I click on fillet, if you'll notice at the left, this gives me a radius value that I want to use. I have it set to 10 inches. The instructional line at the bottom says select my first CAD line. I'm going to select this in. Now I have to select the next one and it gets radius the 10 inches. I'm going to move on to a, another object. If you want to join a chamfer, same thing, you click on one edge, click on the second edge, and as you can see at the top left where I have the value listed, it's 10 inch chamfer. And this object is now clipped. The next feature I'm going to show you is the offset. Simply click on offset, select a line, click and pull that line out. It now gives you a duplicate line uh, at a specific distance. One use of this I can think of right offhand is going to the three point arc where I click on the first part point, the second point, and the third point. Now I can simply select the lines that I do not want. Delete them off. Check that this object is closed and save it. The next feature is the crop feature. If you notice over on the left you can choose the shape of the crop that you want to use. I just simply use a rectangle. Outside means everything that is to the outside of the crop will be kept. Everything to the inside will be deleted. As you can see all of my lines here, everything inside this crop, crop square was deleted. Next is arc the radius. Once you establish the radius, you make a second click, and at this point, you can draw as much of a circle as you want, or you can come back and stop at this point, or stop at this point. Just gives you the ability to modify even even more. So let's click here. I've decided I'm going to trim this and keep this shape. For the transform feature I have set up a scenario here. If I take this cabinet into the editor I see that I have uh, created a partition here and I've not set partition. However I notice that I put that on the wrong side instead of having to redraw I can use the transform to flip this around. So I'm going to select the partition and edit it. Now I'm going to edit shape. If I click on any of these lines you can see that I have constraints on here. The transform option is only available after you've gotten rid of the constraints. So now I'm going to click on each square so that I delete the constraints all the way around. Now that all the constraints are gone, I can draw a box around this object. Transform becomes available to me. I can flip, mirror, or rotate, and I'm simply going to mirror. As you can see, it flipped this part around. I save this object, go back, and I now have the notch on the side that I wanted to start with. While we are here, I'm going to show you the last feature, which is a set start. This is available to open route operations. So I edit this partition again. 
I'm going to edit shape this time, edit the front route. You'll notice I have a starting point for the route direction of this route operation. If for any reason I need to change this, I have the ability to control it to start on the other side simply by going here and clicking set start. And as you can see, it changed to the direction of this route. This could come in handy for many different scenarios. This concludes the movie for the Advanced Shape Editor. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, please visit www.cabinetvision.com. Thank you for watching.